Let's take a look at question one. China Box Inc., a global franchise company, has recently suffered from an outage due to severe weather at its primary data center. New corporate policy dictates mission critical services have an RPO recovery point objective of three hours with the ability to go back as far as 12 hours in time and an RTO recovery time objective of two hours. Which definitions match the policy? Great question. So let's take a look at the answers here. Don't forget that when you set the exam, the answer options here will be randomized, just like on the real exam. So first one here must be available and accessible in a new disaster recovery site within two hours. So this is talking about a RTO, the recovery time objective. So the recovery time objective was two hours. So this one looks good which means we can filter away the second one. This one could be good. We can filter this one away. So we're down to one, two, three answer options. Then it says with a maximum data loss of three hours. Well, the RPO is the recovery point objective, meaning how frequently is this job running or how much data we're willing to lose. So up to three hours. So here we're looking for two hours RTO, three hours data loss. Okay, so this could work. Two hours of data loss, that does not uh, work here. That's okay, because it also didn't work for the RTO. Then we have a two hour RTO, yeah. Three hour yeah, RPO, yes. Jobs must be configured with a minimum of four restore points, okay. Uh, let's see here. Do we have some other options here, potentially? Uh, yeah, this one as well could also be an option, right? So we are basically down to two. Then it says here jobs must be configured with a minimum of four restart points or 12 restart points. Okay, so if we go back up here, it says we need to have the ability to go back 12 hours in time. So I guess it's tempting to pick this one here. But what does that really mean? 12 restart points means that if the job is running for three hours, that would be three hours X. Uh, 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 12 restore points, so that's 12 times three. That's a lot more than the 12 hours in total. This, for, for this to be true, we would need an RPO of one hour because the job is running every hour. So if we go down here, we see we have the two hours RTO, the three hours RPO, and the four restore points. So four times three hours equals 12 hours back in time. So this is absolutely the correct answer.